screws from this window. This is where the flue is going to go through, I hope. And I think I'm going to try removing the inside piece first because the outside has caulking on it and it's probably going to need to be cut away. Tight places in here to work. Oh, there it goes. All right, that's just a frame, as I figured. So I got all the screws saved in a bag labeled and I'll put this away. And anytime I want to sell this trailer or get rid of this stove, I should be able to replace this window without having to have gone through the roof or a wall for this stove install. So that's the plan. So one fun and interesting thing I discovered about my heat shield here, the roof, which is just two pieces of roof tin bonded together with bolts and insulators, but it reverbs. It's a reverb plate. Hey! It's got like a 3.2 second decay on it. I'm thinking maybe, well I hope it's not going to be annoying when I'm recording, but perhaps I could put a microphone up to it and point my guitar amp at it and get some cool reverb on my guitar. Hey! So the window is sticking from the outside due to the uh, caulking that had been put on it. So I'm just using a little wood block here and a hammer to try to break it loose. Oh, there it goes. I'll probably have to cut away some from the front as well. Whilst it is a lovely day out here, it's supposed to get up to like 59 today maybe. It's a little windy, but it's nice and that gives me opportunity to pull this window out because it's been cold. So hopefully this goes easily with no snags. I still think I'm going to have to put a knife in here, maybe not. Here it comes. Feel the gummy gasket behind it. I'll have to peel this off and cut it off with a blade. Use a little alcohol on here. There it is. Easy enough. I'll clean this whole edge and work on getting my wall thimble in there. Excellent. Hey, car window ice scraper is working just fine for this. I guess that's better than a metal blade on here. So this gives you an idea of how thin these trailer walls are. They're literally less than two inches. So there's not much insulation in them. I think this rig is supposed to have the winter package, which means a little extra insulation. I don't know, I could see some coming out here. But uh yeah, it's hard to keep them warm when you're in a winter environment. That's why I'm putting in a wood stove. So I've taken a piece of cardboard and made it the same exact piece as my two metal pieces that are going to go up there to make a template. I leveled it off and inside here I scrolled all along the inside of the window to mark that cardboard on the inside. Now I'm just trying to find the center of the flue to transfer that marking to this cardboard. And then this frame will go up inside here as such. And I'll scroll that to the inside of that cardboard template so that I can take that template and transfer all those markings to my metal sheets, cut the hole out for the flue to come through and the holes all around to pull the two pieces together. Hear my reverb? And that's the plan. Hope my math is good. All right, there's some real redneck engineering going into this. So I'm confident that this dot is center, not center. Well, it's centered to the top of this and it's the top, but it's not centered to the circumference or the diameter. So I've marked three and a half inches on my redneck plumb bob here. So if I hold this up to the top, And I know that it's level because gravity. <laughs> and I go to my mark here, three and a half inches down. That should be the center of my pop. 
pipe. I'll double check my mark. That looks about right. So that's center. I have two sheets of steel here. It's actually two stuck together. And I'm rounding the corners off. These will go to replace the window that the flue is going to go through with the uh, through the wall thimble. So I'm just smoothing these up so they're not sharp. So of course I'm running out of daylight here. Things go slower than you always expect, so I'm not filming as much as I'd like, but I got, here's the two plates taped together and all the markings. I scribed out the whole size. I've got my frame that I put on here and I marked out where all the pinch holes are gonna be and a couple of them went through the frame. So now I'm about to try to cut out the hole uh, the way it's sized, you can see I run into the board here a little bit. I just had to do that because of the size of the window, and I'm hoping I can still get a fresh air vent out here somewhere, maybe, I think, in here. So I'm going to have to just scab some of this stuff out of here. Anyway, let's see how that goes. I drilled a thick pilot hole in here so I can get this blade in. I hope this blade's going to run deep enough. My makeshift table here, picnic table and a couple two befores. Let's see if I can run this around here and be somewhat accurate and not dig into my picnic table or these other boards. Hard to make the turn. I think I'm safe over this table. I'm hitting it. Probably can get a little more support here. That helps. Not even halfway there. That's about halfway there. And it makes my arms and fingers numb. Hearing protection wouldn't have hurt either. You know what, I'm gonna get hearing protection. Save those ears. All that loud guitar playing all my life, my hearing is already degrading. I'm not hitting anything, it's just bumping. Why is it vibrating like that?
Maybe the blade's getting dull because it's bouncing for some reason. Come on, almost there. There it is. Let's hope my thimble fits now. Let me give it a test measurement and see. So that was pretty clean through two places of steel. I got a little bit of a burr here. I can file that out. I probably will file this down anyway just to make it smooth. Because when my trailer is vibrating and rocking, I don't want to cut it in a stovepipe. I got a lot of metal shavings here. I may collect those with a magnet. So I'm going to try to collect these metal shavings with a magnet through a piece of paper to see if I can see the magnetic lines of flux. I don't know if this will work. This is just some goofy experiment. Yeah, it's collecting them. Magnetic lines of flux. That's so cool. When I was renovating my last house that I sold, I pulled out a whole bunch of finishing nails out of paneling and stuff, and I had this big, bigger magnet, and I put it inside a little box and held it up with a uh, leather belt and just swung it over the carpet and picked up all the nails. And then if I pulled this piece of magnet away from the paper, of course, all the metal would just fly away. If I didn't use this paper, I'd never get this metal off this magnet. It's pretty cool, right? How come we're losing some? Now I'm just spinning the magnet. Spin it the opposite way. That's pretty cool. Here's some more. Let's gather them all up. So there's a little pile of metal flakes. You know, you gotta have fun while you're working. <laughs> to make my little bevel, bevel cutouts here, I'm just gonna slice into it a bunch of times up to the line with a uh, sawzall and then probably just chisel it out so here's my pencil mark. I just want to make it a little, little brighter.
here wondering what the soup can is for. This is for my fresh air intake hole, hole, hole and the pipe happens to be the same diameter, so I'm going to use this as a template. So this should pop right out. Let's go with the big one. Probably could use a hammer. I'll cut a little more and notch a little more, clean it up. Oh yeah, Sawzall is one of the best tools ever. I use this thing more than probably any tool. You can do so much with it. So I chipped them out, and then I took the Sawzall and I kind of cleaned it up. But it's going to work because this needs to kind of fit over here a little bit. So I think I'm ready to go try to fit this in my window because it's getting dark. I actually thought I'd finish this today, but I'm like halfway there. Tomorrow's supposed to be another nice day, so I'll continue on tomorrow. But I'll work into the dark for now. Here goes a test fit. If I can swing this by myself. This is going to be tricky. So my outside piece will go in here. Let's see if I can hold this up and get through the door. <laughs> All right. Now, if I can get this top piece, because I can't get my arm around, see if I can get this top piece, this inside piece, and a hole through here. Can I make this fit? Yes. Alright, I got it. I got a bite. A little bite on the bottom. The top wants to pop out. I gotta I got get a nut on it. Oh, it came out. Oh, I lost the whole thing. Let's try again. Let's see if I can get this top screw through the hole. Maybe if I hold this. Okay. It's kind of on there. Can I? Alright. I was going to say, can I reach my nuts? But then I can. That's a family show, right? Get one down here. This is just a test fit, fit, test fit, because I think I'm going to use washers on here. I'm not sure. They might not need washers. At least it can't fall through now. Put my glove back on because this is sharp and see if I can get this one through. Maybe I have to go from the outside. Oh, it's not lining up. Come. That's why I did all the pre drilling so it lines up. Alright, that one's in. off by an eighth of an inch. Why? Why? All right, I'm going to try to drill it. At least I have a couple in here. It can't go anywhere. And I'll keep working it and make them fit. 
test fit looks pretty good. I'm going to test the thimble now. I'm missing one piece of hardware. Missing one right here. But it looks pretty good. Wait and get this stuff in here.